All right, everyone, this is my review of the uh, Kiwi retractable cable management system uh, for virtual reality headsets. Uh, so um, it's, I am really impressed with it. It's a very good design um, as far as, you know, thinking through uh, what the average user is going to want and need out of it. It seems pretty sturdy. The, um, here's where I'm, I, I've been putting this up. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's plastic. It's not, uh, in, in lightweight plastic. However, you know, that cable is a good wire, um, nice and strong. As long as you're not doing anything too, um, crazy, you know, something that you wouldn't want to be doing with your virtual reality anyways, then that should be, um, you know, good and strong for you. Something else I like about it is I don't like all these cables around my office. This is my office and my play area. Um, and I can't do anything about, so here's my, my setup. I have one sensor here, one over here, and another one right there. Um, so this is my, my play area here. I can't do anything about these cables except putting them in the wall, but these ones, um, this clip right here can just pop right off. And on you know, just to get a closer look at it. So yeah, that clip right there can just pop right off to where, you know, you undo that. I don't know if we'll be able to undo it with one hand. Oh yeah, so you undo it. And so I can just, you know, take all those off and, you know, stash my uh, my headset elsewhere. And uh, yeah, so um, it was that was really good thinking. You know, then you just have this thing up here. If you want, you could also just unhook. Oh, sorry, I don't know if you saw that. Um, so you could just unhook the whole thing and then you don't have to worry about unhooking that little thing and uh, and then you know just stash your stash your cables elsewhere um, so yeah that that was really well thought out uh, I don't know if if Kiwi saw someone else do this and said we can do it better or cheaper and get it to more consumers I haven't seen it from anyone else um, and so they're doing something right because here I am with this with this thing I'm really happy with the price you know it's about um, $25 or so, um, you know, that may go up and up or down. I don't know, but, um, what else? Oh, something I recommend. So this right here is a six foot, uh, extension cable. I'll share the, um, I got those off of Amazon. I got all of this off of Amazon. I'll share the link for those, um, products as well. I, I think the six foot will do me just fine. And I, I positioned this last one so that it, you know, I, I stop the fan before, um, I start doing VR. Um, I may change that fan out, but anyways, um, I, I got the six foot USB three and, um, HDMI extension cables. I kind of recommend paying the extra couple bucks and getting the 10 foot, I think, because uh, if, if you have a really good sized room, then you'll want that. Um, this, with the size it is now, and I should put, okay, sorry, so I put this thing back on. So with, with just these three, I can pull this thing all the way over here. Um, so, I mean, that's a huge range of motion. That's outside of my play area, and I can still pull it. I, honestly, since this is most of my play area, you can kind of, I want to move around, you can see it's not even it's not even retracting that much um, until I get over here. I don't know that I even need that second one or that this here. Um, so for this one in the corner, I just put a hook because I figured I didn't need the retractable thing there. I don't know that I even need this one to be re a retractable one either. I may even just. So I'll, I'll, what I'll probably do is either hook it up there like that so that it's, you know, keeping it out of the way or um, just pull that thing out. What I did, um, they, they give you a couple different options for hanging. Um, you can use these um, things where you would just, you know, put it up to the ceiling and tape it or glue it or something. I didn't see what you were supposed to use. There's this Allen wrench. I'm not quite sure what the Allen wrench is for. I didn't see it in the instruction manual. The instruction manual I felt could be a little bit better, um, but it was pretty intuitive on how to, you know, 
when I say it could be better, if I was an idiot, then I wouldn't know how to put it together. I'm not an idiot, so... Um, <laughs> except that I can't figure out what this thing is for or how we're supposed to, to glue those things on or whatever. So anyways, I used these uh, hooks. Um, so what you do, I, I got a um, 3 sixteenths um, drill bit, which is about 5 millimeters. And I just, you know, drilled it up into the wall. Oh, sorry, that's my finger. Um, drilled it up, not into the wall, into the ceiling. Then you stick one of these, um, one of these guys in. And um, then you just, you know, you push it in and you may need to tap it with a hammer a little bit. And then you screw these into the, um, the blue anchors. I think those are called anchors. And, uh, and then you're good to go. I mean, it, it took me like... 15 minutes maybe to put this whole thing up maybe and most of that was because I started out with a smaller drill bit and I kept getting bigger and bigger because I didn't want to tap it with the hammer too hard and have it break so anyways yeah I'm really happy with it I'm excited to use it I got uh, Apex Construct I enjoyed the game but I, I hated tripping over wires and even with the extension cable I was still tripping over wires so I recommend this over getting just the hooks. You could get those hooks relatively inexpensive from Home Depot or Ace Hardware or whatever but if something happens you, you can see that these have these rubber bands on this side and then they have more rubber bands over here and so um, that makes it so that if you know you trip or something then you're not going to destroy your your cables or rip things out of your ceiling or whatever. So this is just a really, really good uh, setup. Very happy with it. And uh, um, yeah, definitely recommend getting it for any serious uh, virtual reality users. Um, and I, I, by, by the way, last thing, this feel it makes it feel like I'm at a professional you know, VR setup um, without needing to break the bank because VR can be expensive. And so this is, you know, pretty inexpensive uh, upgrade that I highly recommend.